Well, I think where we had left off the last time I was across the street in this gift store, I was finishing the tin in the back. I had put the last tin on the bathroom. I've got it topped off and you can see I've got some lights put in. So the question has been on the consigners looking at coming in is how do we attach anything to the walls? Well, being 10, I am opposed to just taking a nail or a screw and hammer it in anywhere they please. But some would like to hang pictures and maybe their name of their little store or whatever they're going to call it. So I've come up with an idea how I think we can accommodate that and still preserve our walls. Well, I picked up some cedar panels. They're five eighths thick, five and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna put these along the wall and fasten them through the same locations that the screws that are holding the tin are. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm gonna come through this line of screws here. I'm gonna fasten these boards in that same screw location and fasten these to where they can put a nail or a screw and hang a picture and not damage the tin itself. I think I'm gonna do one on this row and then in between the lights, I'm gonna come up about like so and fasten another board for something that might possibly be a little longer. Well, if I were to fasten this 5 eighths right against the ribs here, it's possible that somebody could run a nail through intending to hang a picture but go through the 5 eighths and damage the tin. So I'm gonna to try to alleviate that. And what I'm gonna do is take some 5 eighths material. This happens to be 5 eighths OSB. I've made it an inch shorter than the five and a half. And this will fit in each rib. And then I'm gonna fasten these spacers in behind this which will set this out. So if a screw happens to come through too far, there'll be some leeway there to keep it away from the tin. So the whole process is gonna be just lining out these spaces in accordance with the spacing on the tin. And then where every screw is, I'm thinking I'll come and fasten that to the wall itself. So most of these places I'm gonna work with six foot increments and place them about like so. Some of these shorter walls, I'm gonna to have to trim some of these down and make them fit within the walls accordingly. So I'm gonna start trying to play with some of these. I do have some help coming down. Steve, who helped me with the pole barn last summer when I built it, he's gonna come help just to be on each end so we can hold these a little more stable and get my markings because I want these screws to line up with the existing screw holes that are in the tin.
Well, that was kind of the goal for today. I put the double boards here because this is where I would think I want to put some of Rick's lamps on display. I may actually go a third board up. He has quite a few lamps to display and I may do some up front. There are vendors that are going to come in and utilize this corner. So this allows them something to maybe put pictures on or their name plate or whatever. Makes that a little more useful. This corner back here is where the ice cream station is going to be. She's got her freezer in. I put a double board here so she can put a either a white board or a black board and she can put on her prices or whatever she has. So that's why I double plated that. And this corner here is also an option for a vendor and who knows what will be put on the sides of the bathroom, but it just it kind of adds continuity throughout the whole room. So some of this, I don't really know what's going to go here yet. I'm kind of anticipating that there could be pictures along this wall. So I just wanted to make it more usable space. I didn't want fasteners into the tin. I want to allow places that we can put hooks or pictures or whatever along these boards and see how it goes. So there is a little trim work to do yet, a little bit of painting, but I think the main functionality of this room is a lot closer. She is starting to move some of her stuff in. Some of the vendors are preparing to come in to make use of the Thanksgiving through the, maybe the new year through the holiday season. And then after that, I'll continue to decorate with my antiques and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, appreciate you coming along, following the progress. Thanks for watching.